County Fairgrounds USA, countyfairgrounds.net. Welcome to today's podcast. County Fairgrounds and Cool K here. Do I have the one and the only, the one famous Steve Rosen of Steve's Fun Balloons on the line with me? Yes, ma'am, you sure do. Hi, Mr. Steve, how are you today? I am doing great, and yourself? We're doing pretty good. That's so, good here. you make balloons for a living, which is kind of unusual, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so how long have you been doing that? I've been making balloon animals as a full-time living a little over 11 years now. And may I ask how you got started? Oh, I originally learned how to make balloons when I was about 10, 10, 11 years old, and I wasn't a big fan of them that, back then. Then in 2011, I got to go to Cancun, Mexico for two mon- months to help my mom with her job. And while down there, at one of the resorts, they were making balloons for the kids, and a little girl at the restaurant that we were eating at, um, her balloon fell apart, and she got real upset, started crying. And my mom said to her mom that I knew how to make them and could fix it. So mom went, sure, that would be great. So I went over, I fixed it for the little girl. She had a smile from ear to ear. Her face lit up with such pure joy that right then and there, I was hooked and never looked back. Oh, okay. So do you remember what was your first uh, festival event? My very first festival and event I worked was the Mountain Mandarin Festival in Northern California. Mm Mm-hmm. And how basically did that happen? So that happened. I, we happened to be good friends with the per, the uh, gentleman who puts on the festival. And I just got back from the store with my mom. I got some balloons, a couple, a pump, and some DVDs to start learning. I was putting around. And we had lunch with the gentleman. And right then and there, they asked me if I'd like to perform at their festival and make balloons for the kids. And I went, sure, that'd be great. Okay. All right. So, um You've done a whole bunch of other festivals since. Do you want to tell us about some of them? If I've done things like the Arizona State Fair for the last five years in a row, which has been an absolute blast. Um, a lot of fun. Also, my longest fair at almost 25 days long. And okay. then I've done a, um, a lot of other small events throughout California, Oregon, Montana. They're just all absolute blast. Oh. Are you a married man, Mr. Steve? I am not. I am single. Still haven't found the right person. Oh, okay. Well, you must have nieces and nephews, I bet. I do have that. Lots of nieces and and nephews. And you make lots of balloons for them, right? (laughs) I do. I spoil them rotten when I see them. Okay. Okay. All right. So I haven't interviewed a balloon artist before. Do you do your own booking? I do a lot of my own bookings, and I also use uh, an agent. Okay. All right, well, um, so you want to give us your agent's name and phone number so in case somebody's interested in booking you? Definitely. My agent is Mason Entertainment, and their number is 916-294-0800. Okay, but approximately how many fairs or festivals have you done, do you think? So over the years, I've been averaging about probably 10 to 15 festivals a year over the last 11 years. Okay. Are there places that you would like to perform that you have then had a chance? Um, I'd love to perform in every state of the United States, and I've knocked about 12 states down so far. Okay. And you're you're a grounds act pretty much, right? Yes. I, I'm a grounds act. So I stroll um, wherever they, they need some extra help or people draw someone in. I'm the guy that helps draw them into areas that need help. So when you go into a fair, you must make balloons from when you go in to the time you come out, I would think. <laughs> um, if I didn't control my sets and my breaks, I would definitely be there from the minute open to the minute they close nonstop. Okay. And you don't use helium? I do not use helium. How do you blow your balloons up, Steve? <laughs> so I cheat and I use a little floor pump. Oh, okay. It makes it easy for me, and um, I don't have to use all my lung power, which is not much. <laughs> so what kind of characters do you make? I make everything from, like, Disney princesses, Marvel characters. Um, my favorite is a snowman and a snow globe, and the Beauty and the Beast rose in the glass jar. 
Okay. Do the kids ask you for things? They do. The um, I'll, I'll, they'll ask me for a bunch of different things, and um, or sometimes I just tell them a list, and they pick what they want. And other times I just like to surprise them, depending what their outfits they're wearing. You must get some great reactions for some of the parents too, I would think. I do. I get some absolutely amazing reactions from the parents. Oh, okay. This is All fun right. to watch them, their reactions to their kids getting the balloon. It is watching the kids. Okay. And, and so I guess what I'm thinking is that the fairs, then they pay you to do this for them during the fair run? Yes. The fair does hire me um, to make all the balloons for the, all the guests of the fair free of charge. Okay. And you bring everything with you that you need, right? I do. I bring everything with me. The fair does not have to supply anything. Okay. That sounds great. So do you have any particular events coming up in the next few months? I do. Um, in the next few months, I have two events in Arizona, mm-hmm. uh, the Yuma County Fair down in Yuma, Arizona, followed okay. by the Maricopa County Fair um, at the state fairgrounds in Phoenix, Arizona. Okay. All right. And how do people reach you online? So they can reach me online um, through Steve's Fun Balloons on Facebook. Okay. All right. Well, I've enjoyed talking to you. It sounds like a lot of fun and something different, and it sounds like the kids would love you. Yep. And it's been great chatting with you as well. Thank you very much, Mr. Steve. You're very welcome. My pleasure. You have yourself a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. Bye. <laughs>